Welcome to Let's Get Metaphysical, the show that stretches you beyond your five senses. When you are looking for your next step on the path into the unseen, we've got you covered. Join epic adventure seekers and level up your game with your host, reality magician, Allie Bierman. Are you happy? You know, there's nothing you can do that's going to make you happy. You know why? Because it's your birthright. You're born happy. Look at any healthy, full-term newborn baby. Oh, yeah, they're going to cry to get their feeding, to get their diaper clean, to not be scared, but they're happy and they're having a good time and that continues all the way up for the first two years of life. If you are not feeling happy, it's not because the happiness isn't within. It's because you have all these blocks up in the way of feeling happy. You can choose to feel happy and the place to start, just smile. When you smile, your posture straightens up. When your posture straightens up, your whole body can take in more air. What's air? It's your life force. There's nothing outside of you that can make you happy. Yeah, you might buy all the toys, you might watch a great movie, you might read a fabulous book, but that's all temporary because it can't get in there and touch your heart. Happiness is knowing that regardless of circumstances, everything in your world is perfect and working perfectly according to a divine plan and always, always, always in divine timing. How do I know all this stuff? Well, I was a really serious kid all my life. Like, people were always doing things to try and make me smile. Even my teachers would kind of play like, I don't know if you want to call them jokes, but things to create a situation where I would have to own up to my feelings. And that's being a really serious kid when your teachers are wanting you to smile more. So at some point, I decided I don't have to be someone who envies people who walk around smiling and talking a genuine smile that's with your whole face. Not that false little Miss America smile, but a real smile that's coming from your heart because you smile with your whole body. Well, I envy people who are like that. And then one day I said, hold everything because the only reason I don't smile all the time is because I chose not to do it. And maybe it was a subconscious choice, but nonetheless, it was a choice. So right then and there, I chose to smile all the time. And it became such a habit that I'd wake up in the morning, I'd open my eyes with a smile on my face. No kidding, no exaggeration, I'd awaken with a smile on my face. During the day, I'll walk about and I'll hum or I'll sing. And maybe like when I'm doing the dishes or cooking, even a few dance steps. Same thing doing the cleaning. None of that stuff is drudgery. When you enjoy your life, when you're happy, when you know it's your privilege to be able to do those things. I remember after the brain surgery and I had to learn to walk and talk and all that. And there was a big snow. And friends used to come over to shovel the driveway and the sidewalk. And I appreciated it until one day when I realized I can do this. I can shovel the driveway and the walk myself. And I was super happy that I could do it. Because it was something I hadn't been able to do previously. Feeling happy and grateful for everything that you are and that you can do and feeling happy and grateful for everything that you are not, not being limited, not being scared, not being lonely. Everything is a state of mind. What's going on in the theater of your mind? It's your 
choice. So I decided to be happy. And when I walk around smiling, I feel good. But it's not just me feeling good. And I want to put this question to you. When you're happy, do you notice that more things come into your world that leave you feeling happy, feeling good, feeling relaxed, that the people you're attracting, that the situation's happening, they're all about happy. The energy you put out is the energy you attract. How do you choose to put out energy? By what's going on up here. By coming from your heart, not your ego mind. It's always trying to keep you just the way you are. No changes. Thank you very much. Always come from your heart. Now, back when I was a serious person in my life, and I was a psychotherapist, and I was attacked. And man, I don't think there's such a thing as a minor brain injury, but I had a doozy of a brain injury. And I recognized right away that there are gifts because I didn't belong in mainstream psychotherapy. I belonged in the world of energy. And the only way I got better was by finding my way into that world. So when I was in the brain rehab center and I told that to the psychologist that I can see the gift, that I can see many gifts in all that's happened because of this brain injury, in all the limitations, in all the things and ways I got to be and live, by the way, because I couldn't use my eyes much for 17 months. It's true. My hearing got so sharp that I could hear things literally a block away, which was kind of painful. I still have super good hearing. Keep that in mind if you're trying to talk about me and I'm anywhere in the area. So I could tell, remember I'm walking around with my eyes closed, I could hear air movement so that if I was outdoors, I knew if I was walking by a tree or a car or a building, because guess what? The air wasn't flowing. It was stopped by the objects. That was a gift. I could tell if I was pouring liquid into a glass, the pitch of, if you really listen, when you're pouring the liquid, it has a pitch. And as the glass fills, the pitch gets higher and higher. So I always knew when to stop. All these gifts that I couldn't possibly have known if it weren't for that nasty brain injury. Also, because I was attacked, and it's really scary to be attacked and not be able to get out of it, but to be pinned in a corner. I had PTSD, and that was a scary situation until the very first energy work that I did was energy diagnostics and treatment, and in less than 20 minutes, the PTSD was gone. I work with people, and the longest it's ever taken me to clear any kind of lifelong trauma was 48 minutes. All of these were gifts that happened because of that first brain injury. So there's always something to be happy about. And at that same time, when I was looking for things that were the gifts, that's when I started the Happy Share movement. Why a Happy Share? Because when I get up in the morning, the first thing I do is, and I started with three, but now I do ten things for which I feel happy and grateful in that moment. And they could be something as simple as, my eyes are working today. I know the building looks like that. It's really shaped that way. As opposed to the week before, I knew the building didn't look like that because I remembered it from the past. Always something for which to feel happy and grateful. And when you're focusing on it, you're going to find all these things that leave you feeling happy, that leave you feeling grateful. And that sets your day out. That sets up your energy for attracting happy, beautiful moments. You will always and only attract what you are looking for. 
So why would anybody choose to look for stuff to make you feel miserable, to make you feel grumpy, to have you wearing a frown? Turn it upside down and smile. And the smile we become your natural way. And when people see you coming, they almost always smile too, regardless of what kind of mood or what they were feeling. You're spreading joy. And doesn't the world need more joy? I thank you so much for joining me here today for Let's Get Metaphysical Connecting Heart and mind. Remember, download your copy of Step in a New Direction, because isn't it time that you changed your life path and went someplace different that actually brought you to a place, to a life that's happier and more easygoing? Join our Facebook group, ask questions, make a new friend, see extra offers that will start coming up in there because my functioning is back, which means I can do videos more often. And also remember that Audible is offering you a free 30-day trial. You get a book of your choice and Oh my gosh, there's so much amazing stuff. I just finished a course in Audible that wasn't part of what I pay for my book each month because there's this whole extra plus catalog and I can go in there and add anything in it to my library. It was a whole course by Matthew Maltz, the Psycho-Cybernetics guy, done by the person uh, Matt Fury who leads his foundation now. It was all free inside of my membership. So be sure you go down in the show notes, grab the link, grab your free trial, because there's so much I can't even begin to excite you with everything that you'll find when you're in there yourself. I remind you, to enjoy, that's capital I-N, capital J-O-Y, every moment, because nothing in your life ever happens out there. Nothing out there is going to make you happy. Nothing out there is going to make you sad either. Everything happens in here and in here. Remember, just start in here. That way, then when you go up there, you're not being dominated by your ego mind. Wanting to keep you stuck. I look forward to seeing you here next time. You've been listening to a talk on the Wilder side. Thanks for tuning in to Let's Get Metaphysical. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And while you're at it, please leave a rating and review and be sure to share it with your friends. Tune in every Monday for more exciting insights and wisdom on life beyond your five senses. Until next time, take a small step in a new direction. Start now.